Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So this was a piece I did. Um, it was the video number 191 or 92. I don't exactly recall, but this was this is the dry result. And look at this, how pretty it is. Now, I want to add some of my bloom at the center of this flower as um, you're seeing that I am doing this um, on my last couple of videos. So the colors that I have mixed, I have introduced those colors in my previous video. If you watch them, you'll see all of the, you can see all the series. So I'm not going to talk about the colors today. All I'm going to do is talk about what, how the composition should look like. What am I looking for? What do I want to change and things like that. So it's a pretty balanced composition. There's nothing wrong with the composition. However, I'm thinking, I'm just looking at the ugly places of this composition, honestly. So when I look at this, love, love, love these sides, love, love, love these sides. Uh, not quite in the center, because usually there should be beautiful cells here, which I don't have. So probably I am okay with losing them with some beautiful flowers. So let's start the process. This is a lighter color and I'm using all the shimmering colors and a couple of piggies, which are um, the fluorescent colors because of their vibrant colors. And there we go. So I have this knockout. Oh, let's decide first, where do we want to put our first flower? I am thinking, how about here? Uh, no, how about here, the first one? And from there, we'll decide where the second one should go. I always start with a lighter color in the center because when I blow, um, this is dry, the surface is dry and the canvas surface is not smooth, it's rough. Not rough, it's coarse, basically. Anyway, I don't want to use more words in my mouth like about this. Anyway, so when I layer the brighter colors surrounding the lighter color as rings, when I blow it from the center to the sides, this lighter color spreads on top of the darker colors. And as the darker colors rolls on the canvas, you'll see what I mean. So first, I am going to use Deja Vu from TLP. Pretty, pretty color, really pretty. Lately, I'm using this a lot. Then, and what will happen is it will roll the first and top of this purple. I will have all these beautiful other colors. We, this one is... Um, I don't know what is it called. Let me remind myself. This one is called Fireworks from Primary Element. Next one I'm going to use is called Bleeding Heart and Pink Lemonade. On top of it, I'm going to layer some gold and which is from golden. This is not a pigment. And from after that, on top of it, I'm going to use my cell activator, which is lamp black. Now let's start blowing.
this is just a basic dollar store straw it's not anything fancy Going for the second pedal. Done. There would be two pedals in between these two. I am not a very fond of the weird shape pedal so I'm going to dip my thing or on the back of the stick and I'm just going to go and cover it up as much as I can. See how pretty it turned out. Now I'm going to do my last one. Here we go. So a good thing about this kind of um, loom is uh, since I don't have any base coat underneath, it will dry without any crack even though I have lump of paint at the center. That's okay. Very pretty, isn't it? There is my first flower. I will let it dry and I'll see you soon. So this is after uh, three, four hours once I did this. Now I'm back again. Now, um, what do you think? Of course not I'm, I'm like I have to do more so I'm thinking one flower here the other flower here and from there we will decide what else to do second flower here and I'm going to do a whole flower pink lemonade deja vu Okay guys, ready?
take your clothes off. Tinta video on a wall. Ask him, You really have to have a good control on your blowing and it takes practice. Oops. So this is up close and let me show you the entire composition. This is what I have now. It calls for another flower here. Absolutely, right? And it should be a half flower. And maybe a little flower bud here. I don't know. We'll see. You know what? This one is wet. So I am going to wait and let it dry a little after that i will come back and do a half flower over there 
and maybe the tiny flower i would like to try if it works it'll work if it doesn't too bad I'll leave it here. I will use this. Come back later on to fix it. It's going to be a like flower bud.
at this point i am quite happy with my results that i have now i'm going to use a skewer and put some indentation in between the flower petals to give it a little bit of defined look when i do that i start from the outer uh, side of the flower and pull them inside and as i do that first i make sure that it's touching the canvas and as i pull inside i go soft so it doesn't touch the canvas anymore because sometimes i see that if i keep on making like if i keep on pulling it touching the canvas later on when it dries you can see the white um canvas um because the um paint separate so that's why i make sure towards the center um, the skewer to doesn't the touch the canvas now i will let the flower dry and basically this is my composition uh, let me know what you think and if i have to improve anything just share with me i will take that into consideration until next time Thank you for joining me today. Bye.